This tutorial is an update to a previous contact form 7 tutorial where I show you how to allow your visitors to add attachments to their contact forms and then you receive those attachments in your email. The contact form 7 plugin has been updated. There's a little tweak you have to do to keep receiving those attachments and I'm going to show you what that tweak is right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's get these attachments added properly on your contact form 7 form so you get them in your email inbox. I'll see in the screen capture. So the first thing we need to do is find our form. So we head over to contact, we can just, I can just click on contact right here, and that will load all of our forms. We find the one that we want to add the upload to that currently has the upload functionality. Click on edit. I'm going to add it from scratch so you can see the whole process. If you just want to see how to get the attachment once it's sent, just skip forward in this tutorial a few minutes. I don't know exactly how far because I'm just recording it right now, but a few minutes ahead should do. And inside this form editor, I'm going to add a new label. I'm actually just going to copy this whole thing. I'm going to call it, please upload a profile picture, for example. I'm going to delete the short code that's in here. I'm going to click on this file button to add a new one. You can choose to make this file type required or not. That's up to you. The name of file is good enough for me. That's really just for your own reference in the builder. The file size limit in bytes is something that we have to enter. And what this will do is it allows you to limit how big a file can be. So if they're uploading a profile picture, you're going to want it to be less than two megabytes maybe. So you want to have that limit in there. Otherwise they can upload a three gigabyte profile picture and it's likely not a profile picture, it's probably something else. It could be a movie for all you know. So we want to limit the file size and we also want to have a list of acceptable file types. So if it's an image they're going to upload, you're going to have things in here like JPEG, PNG, GIF, JPEG spelled with an E. If it's a video file, you're going to have MP4 or MOV or a different uh, video file type. Or if it's PDFs, for example, you just have a PDF in there. So the file types are up to you. You can even, in the description that we placed out here, right here, you could say something like, please upload only, in my case, JPEG, PNG, or GIF. And you could have this say PDF or MOV or whatever you need so people know what to expect. Click on the file button again to create the upload section. So first, the file byte size. I'm just going to head over to Google. I'm going to look for a byte converter. And we can actually do it just right here right in Google. So if we have two megabytes, this is how many bytes that is. So it's two times 10 to the six, meaning there's six zeros after the two. If you don't want to do that kind of interpretation, just click on one of these results in the Google search and one of these should do what we need. This one, we just add a value into any one of these fields. I'm going to add the two megabyte bytes. That's the file size I want. Then I'm going to click on this button and it adds the file size everywhere else. So in bytes, this is how many two megabytes is in bytes. It's going to copy that value, paste it into here for the file size limit, acceptable file types, just going to add what I wrote down below, separated by a pipe character. So I'm going to have JPEG, pipe character, JPEG with an E, pipe, PNG, pipe, and GIF. Once that's all set, you can have a ID in class as well if you want to customize the CSS. If you don't want to do that, click on insert tag, and your tag is ready to go right here. This is going to add a file upload to this form. Next, what we have to do is go into mail. This is the actual email that's sent to you or sent to somebody on your team. And there's a file attachments field. In this field, you want to add the short code for the file attachment. If we scroll back to the top, once we save this, we're going to have the short code for the file appear right here. So I'm just going to click on save here. Now we have the file short code appearing right here. Copy that, scroll down, paste it in there, click on save. And now we're going to copy this short code and then create a new page. I'm going to call this file upload. Make sure I'm on the HTML tab or the text tab. Paste in the short code, click on publish. Now we're going to view the page and it's going to have our beautiful form on it. Here it is. We have our file upload box. I'm just going to quickly fill this out. Choose a file that is a JPEG file. Go download the 3D version, upload 3D version of 
that download. Now that's all in there. It's actually a PNG file, sorry, but that's an allowed file. But now that we have all that in there, click on send and we have this message. Thank you for your message. It has been sent. In Gmail, I'll often have to look through all the tabs. Not in social, it's not in promotions, but it is in my updates tab. Click on that to open it and we have our upload test subject, test message, and the attached image file right here. So that upload worked. And that form is only for a single upload. If you want multiple upload, I've got a different video for that. If you want this 17 point WordPress pre-launch checklist for beginners, which I think you should get because it's awesome, click on the link in the description to download that. It's a pretty cool little download. So that's the new tweak to getting attachments in your inbox. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.